I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. So one of the things we need to do is clean out the gutter so it sort of works and it keeps all that trash from being in our way when we seal that edge where that gutter fastens the uh, roof. So what, in this case, a lot of times I use a big screwdriver or a pipe or something, but this is a handle that works pretty good that, for our brushes. So I'm just pushing that along and then we'll sweep the excess that gets on the roof off. You, gotta, you need to get all that out so it'll flow good. See it where they have trees growing in there. <laughs> where Akron fell in and started growing from the water to kind of stick around. to have somebody clean this out for you once a year but then you you need to do this roof sealant every couple of years you need to check this is what we're going to do and then we'll show you what we start doing next this fill bridge what we're using is uh it's called asphalt cement for roofs all-weather roof cement now it's getting harder to it used to be just it was called tar but that has changed and so the, uh, this this is from Lowe's It's made by blackjack you want to make sure it's stiff not something liquid like I have made the mistake of getting uh, you want to be able to have something that's stiff and it will get hard with time but you will have that elastomeric stuff to uh, protect it from drying up and cracking like tar does when it gets old and hard. So, thought I'd let you know. See ya. Here we are moving up the company ladder <laughs> on top of a mobile home that has never been sealed um, with any kind of sealant and they're starting to really show on the inside. Um, if you look down here, you'll see it used to be this right here and it's changed to rust that's not as big an issue some of the with the with these peaked roofs one of the problem issues in a high windy area is these areas right here in the top those wrinkles there start making they start breaking so at that point you pretty much got to go to a, a metal roof but in this case we're going to do something on a budget and we're going to show you what we do and we're going to use a material that is white after we seal all the penetrations but if you notice down here this is a patch somebody made and you see how it's cracking all along the edges? So it's for sure it's leaking inside there. So I want you to pay attention not to just put tar. You want to put some of this, which is a, uh, this is from Lowe's. And a lasso cool, and it's white, or at least it's supposed to be. I haven't used this one before. They got rid of the one I was used to seeing. And uh, we'll put that over the tar so it doesn't crack as much. But all of the penetrations will have to be sealed with tar first, and then we'll put this over it. Now, the biggest problem this house is having is the drip edge, which is actually what holds this roof on. It's not, it sort of functions as a drip edge, but if you take that off, this roof will blow off. 
And uh, you notice right here, I don't know if you can see these cracks right here where it's not sealed. That right there is what this water runs down behind that, runs down in behind the metal siding, and then it goes down that siding, hits the floor, which the particle board runs all the way out. It wick, it'll wick back. So you got some, you can't figure out why you got a wet spot. It's probably because of either that seam right there not being sealed or a vent like this that's leaking. So this is what we're going to show you that we do. This will last for three or four years, but you still need to maintain this. A metal roof you need to maintain. Relationships you need to maintain. Life is maintenance. So here we go. We'll show you how we do it. So one of the things we would need to do is clean out the gutter so it sort of works and it keeps all that trash from being in our way when we seal that edge with that gutter fastest uh, roof. So what, in this case, a lot of times I use a big screwdriver or a pipe or something, but this is a handle that works pretty good that, for our brushes. So I'm just pushing that along and then we'll sweep the excess that gets on the roof off. You, gotta, you need to get all that out so it'll flow good. I've seen it where they have trees growing in there. <laughs> where an acorn fell in and started growing from the water to kind of stick around. somebody clean this out for you once a year but then you you need to do this roof sealant every couple years you need to check this is what we're gonna do and then we'll show you what we start doing next all you're really doing John is sealing up that seam right there between the gutter and the roof. Talking about this right here? Yeah. When well, I get over there, I'll show you how it comes from there. It's kind of dangerous for you, though. This is a, a trowel for uh, masonry. Just look for something inexpensive. You don't want to uh, get your hands in it. I'm also wearing gloves just because I know that you know even a little bit of gets on your hand, gets on everything else. And if you notice this seam right here, I'm just filling that seam up. And then we're going to coat it with that white elastomeric using a brush. So you can use a flat stick if you wanted to. We're going to do this all the way around and around every penetration. And then we'll show you what we do with the brushes. One. So what we're using is uh, it's called asphalt cement for roofs all-weather roof cement now it's getting harder to it used to be just it was called tar but that has changed and so the, uh, just this is from Lowe's it's made by blackjack you want to make sure it's stiff not something liquid like I have made the mistake of getting uh, you want to be able to have something that's stiff and it will get hard with time but you will have that elastomeric stuff to uh, protect it from drying up and cracking like tar does when it gets old and hard. So, thought I'd let you know. See ya. 
now we're going to coat all this everything with, with this elasto cool and this is from lowe's elastomeric roof coating and uh that will keep the tar from cracking as much as matter of fact the white will cause it to reflect heat instead of absorbing heat do the edges first i use like a paintbrush you don't have to use this you can use something else but i'll go ahead and coat all the way down the side so it kind of looks white instead of splotchy black That keeps that tar from, when it gets old, from cracking as much. Then, you take a handle and a brush, and you see what John's doing? You coat that roof and that tar all the way down to the edge, and it'll end up with a white roof that resists leaking a lot and uh, if you notice this thing cleaning and always worrying about falling off I put a 2 by 6 down below and a piece of plywood so that we could put something that's semi level and that way you don't have to worry about it falling off and you don't have to move it along the roof and uh, that's some of the tricks We'll show you some more as we go along. Maybe we'll get you an aerial view. We got a drone, a cheapy drone. We'll fly it around and let you see what it looks from up, up in the air. Bridges. If you like what you saw and think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans, we're Americans. See you next time.